field is set. Racing as well. Mr. Megsy showing good dash on the inside, the first to go. Refusing to stretch out early is Salcino. Rigadig jumped the gates very smartly and is up contesting the lead. In fact, Rigadig is going to burn them off and go to the front. Missile fires up now into second spot. Over on the inside as the speed slows next of all as they settle properly, Mr. Megsy and going forward is Nalise on the outside. Goes up and it's going to work its way to the front. So the roughy goes clear. Nalise out by three quarters missile a length and a half rigger dig birdie eagle tracks its stable mate followed further back on the outside next of all four lane who's gone up just in advance of mr megsy who led them early then came anna rule back on the inside maximum impact and the last group back there were blue card salcino who's near enough to last back with it is antonita they put the 550 behind them coming towards the home turn and the ruffy leads the way nalise from missile about to give it a big stare birdie eagle stalks this duo two lengths four lane over on the inside, Rigger Dig, Mr. Megsy headed the remainder. Nalise headed for the judge missile. They headed it. And now here comes Birdie Eagle starting to fly. Birdie Eagle goes to missile. The stable mates four lane gets its mind on the job. Mr. Megsy's coming down the outside as well. With a hundred left to go. Four lane hit the front. Mr. Megsy trying to pick it up. Four lane. Mr. Megsy. Four lane. Four lane might have fallen in. Maybe four lane from Mr. Megsy. A tight go. Birdie Eagle was third home. And fourth was Mr. Missile, who blew out late. Followed further back, blue card, Antonina. Then maximum impact, the stable mate, Salcino, a gap, Rigadig, who didn't fire. Further back behind them is Nelise, and towards the tail is Anna Rule. Bobbing finish here after the running of race number two on the card. Number three, four lane. Ridden by Patrick Carberry. Has got the verdict, though. Over seven, Mr. Megsy, Sean O'Donnell, Birdie Eagle, number six, third home. Fourth is two, Missile. It's three, seven, six, two. Four lane opens up its winning account for the Simon Miller stable and has lasted by a whisker. Over Mr. Megsy and Birdie Eagle. Missile was there, but uh, fired a blank. Four lane, the fave. Got to $3 in the last few moments of betting. Took some work, took some riding from Pat Carberry still to get this Delgar gelding home. And has just won from Mr. Megsy. Birdie Eagle enjoying a good run throughout the stable made of missile back forth. Rigger Dig didn't last. And the least dropped out after leading. A short half head one length. Official margins in 125, 1-0, 35-6-8. The last 600 Raced in partnership by Nev Bodica and Matt Sandblom. Four lanes of Dalgar Gelding from top billing, a daughter of Sava Beale, trained by Simon Miller. Mr. Megsy second, the trade fair three-year-old from Pure Ivy. Raced by Bill Gadecki, trained by Robin Lockwood, ridden by Sean O'Donnell. Birdie Eagle, and my admiration, Kapita Mac Gelding for Steve Kilner. Nev Carolyn Parnham, trained by Neville Parnham and handled there by Brad Parnham. Next event, the third, the Amelia Park Lodge plate over the 1100, 11, 12, 13. Emergency runners aren't required there. A field of 10 to do battle in the next at 144. Kel Kinnamott has made her way down into the yard, represents the Simon Miller stable this afternoon, and she's there with Britt. It's not even going over the course. Test. There we go. The audio now working. And Kelly, it is the day for four lane after those two second placings at the last two. Today was the day. Yes, finally. But he's got pretty good form around him. Um, everything's been winning. Um, so it's good to see him get the job done today. What were you thinking in those concluding stages with the horse coming on the outside and running him right to the line? Yeah, he's still quite green, isn't he? But, um, but yeah, the blink blinkers coming off seem to be the key in dropping back in distance today. What about Michelada later in the program? Yeah, she's good, small field, and um, she looks like class above, so we'll see. Fingers crossed for speaking soon. Well done on this one. Thanks, Britt. There is uh, Kelly Kinnamont from the Simon Miller Yard after the victory of Four Lane, who gets the job done after a couple of placings. Fourth up here today under the urgings of Paddy Carberry, who got the most out of the Delgar gelding to the line. Scott and uh, the fast finishing Mr. Megsy was in uh, hot pursuit.
I think uh, Kel's basically said exactly what we were talking about in the in the preview, Britt. This horse is just all raw, all green. He's clearly got a motor, but he has no idea yet what racing's all about. And I think when the penny drops, he hopefully can be a, a handy type because he's shown enough. He's thrown a couple of races away through his own racing manners. So hopefully in time, they can iron them out. Certainly looked that way as soon as Paddy asked for that effort. You saw him roll around for that couple of strides, but too good in the end but you'd imagine that with each and every race outing he'll only continue to improve today was only his fifth career start so for an inexperienced sort of horse you'd imagine that every outing just sees him become that little bit more professional and today back to 1400 meters which we touched on in the preview the fact that that whether that mile might have just seen him out at this stage of his career but the drop back a furlong seemed to have worked a treat today and I think riding him off the pace too. I think that's probably going to be something that in time he'll just be a chaser, I think, because the other day when he was out in front, he went straight past the leader at a mile. He was sitting in the breeze and then he was just all at sea. He was waiting for other horses and I'm sure it would have been frustrating to have ridden a horse like that. But today he was able to park himself out there three deep with a little bit of cover and in the end those horses were swooping down those leaders because Missile hit the front at the top of the home straight but quickly Birdie Eagle collared him, the stable mate who had been sitting on his back, one out, one back and then it was one out, two back to four lane and of course the horse that flashed at them late, Mr Megzi, was drawn in gate number one but in the middle stages Sean O'Donnell was able to navigate his way to the outside and those horses were getting over the top of them late so far. We have seen a nice even pattern here. Three, seven, six, and two. We'll grab Paddy Carberry for a word on four lane there because I'm sure it's going to be an interesting assessment, Paddy, because this horse looks like he's got ability, but gee, he looks green. Uh, yeah, he has got ability. Um, there's no doubt about that. He's still got a lot to learn. Uh, he's he's uh, at different times earlier in his prep. He's been quite difficult and uh, sort of wants to go Whichever way you want him to go, he'll go the other way, which you obviously seen a bit more in the straight. Um, but he did sort of knuckle down a bit when I put the stick away and he felt the horse coming to the outside and he obviously could see it and I think uh, it sort of made him a bit more competitive the last 50. Is he the kind of horse that the penny's eventually going to drop or is he always going to be like that? Well, he definitely has got better this preparation. Um, but credit to the horse, uh, you know, he's been in work a long time. Um, but in, in saying that, he's probably been in work such a long time because he's, he's, he's quite tough and he's copped it, but he needed to continue racing to, uh, to learn what to do. Uh, not sure where we'll head from here, but uh, just good to see him uh, win a race. He's been knocking on the door. A thought for Michelada later on? Um, her last run was really good. Uh, hopefully she can um, turn up the races in the same, same order as last time. Oh, I haven't sat on her since her last run. Uh, not fast work anyway, and uh, you know, if she runs the same sort of race the other day, she's drawn a better lid, so I guess she won't be as far away from them, so hopefully she can follow in this bloke's footsteps. Best of luck. Thank you. Let's hope it can be a good day for the Simon Miller Yard and Paddy Carberry as well. They combine with Four Lane, who takes out the Mrs Max Maiden.